Two. Hello, my name is Christopher Mojica. Alongside me are Finney Turnier and Frank Delo, and we are Team 27. We are here to discuss the analysis and synthesis of basic robotics in regards to four bar mechanisms and a slider crank mechanism. The responsibilities was divided among us equally. I was in charge of the calculations, the PowerPoint presentations, and Finley Turnier was in charge of application of the mechanisms and the animation of the mechanisms, while Christopher was in charge of the conclusions, introductions, and the research. The first mechanism on Earth can be traced back to the first to the earliest civilization on Earth with, in regards to it in regards to the creation of a trap and the lever fulcrum. Both devices were used for hunting. Um, entering the Neolithic era, these people were more concentrated on domestic of animals and of plants. Their main fo fo force source of food was the cereals. With the creation of the first hand mill, which was basically a stone, a wheel made out of stone, it was used to crush these cereals and made it more efficient for these people. Um, before the Christianity era, the Chinese people created a textile machine that was more focused for the silk industry. Entering the machine renaissance in Europe, the, the, civil, the people created a, a scythe chariot that was more for war. Um, this, this chariot had gears and shafts that, as it ran, it would basically export export a, a series of blades that surrounded the chariot itself. With that being said, it would basically not allow enemies to approach the chariot. Entering the modern ages, these people were more focused on how they could be able to make energy more efficient and not and not um and not foc and not rely on animal power. In doing so they created a water wheels, dams and mills. Entering the industrial engine in entering the Industrial Revolution, these people were more focused on the mass production, which, will, which then later created the steam engine. Entering the 20th century, as we all know, computers were, were made, which then led to industrial robots, which then would make companies more competitive and more efficient. And entering the 2015 era, as we are currently in, um, we can we can see humanoid robots. There are two companies now that have these humanoid robots, which are Boston Dynamics and Honda. Um, each different each humanoid robot has its different function. Here now is um, Frank Delo in regards to the four bar mechanism. The problem statement of the four bar mechanism consisted of. Uh, analyzing the joint positions, velocity, and acceleration, as well as the point S, which is located um, on the coupler link at point Q, and the, and these are the constants given to us. While and these constants, with the um, with the angle theta three, will run be run from zero to three sixty at a time step of one degree to map out the motion. As you see here, the position analysis was made, was done by using the vector equations, solving these vector equations for the output values theta 3 and theta 4, while theta 1 remains constant. The, the resulting equations from the vector equations are the ones you see here in the middle. These vector equations gave us the, the output values. With these output values, we plug it into the bottom equations, which are the jo joint equations. These joint equations then would plot the x and y components of every joint. Here on the side, as you see, are the joint uh, P and joint Q through their through their motion at closure one and two. Next, you will see the velocity analysis of the four bar mechanism. You take the vector equations, what you see here, and then you take the derivative of them, and you get what this equation, these equations here, which are the velocity equations. Then you take these equations, put them in matrix format, solve for them for the output velo oh, oh, the velocity equations. Here you can see the angular velocity uh, of the link R4 versus the angle R3. And also over there are, is the R2 uh, version. 
Next is the, uh, is the acceleration analysis of the four bar mechanism. You take the initial velocity equations, you take the derivative, which we did before, and you get the acceleration, which is what you see in the middle. The, these, uh, these acceleration um, equations, you put in the position, uh, the position uh, outputs that you got before, the velocity out outputs you got before as well, and we get what these, these tables of values. The output angular uh, of, of link two, the angular acceleration of link two, and the angular acceleration of link four with respect to the input angle. Then the position of analysis of the point S was, to, was simply taking the position output, the output uh, position analysis, um, and placing it into these equations up here so that we can see and map out the position of point S through its motion. Now for the application of the four bar mechanism. Now, the purpose of a four bar mechanism is to provide a mechanical advantage. In a sense, the four bar, bar mechanism is an improved version of the lever and fulcrum. Now, um, some of these advantages include the potential to transfer heavy loads and transfer these heavy loads with very little friction. Now, one of the benefits and advantages to four bar mechanism is that they're very easy to manufacture and overall is a fundamental linkage mechanism. These are some examples of four bar mechanism. Although they may not be, be apparent at first, um, you can see that a vice grip, a crane, a crane and boom, es excavate a bucket, and door closer all implement four bar mechanisms. Now, one of the four bar mechanisms that we synthesized, we found that it is well suited for application of a door closer. As you can see, we have an animation showing that the four bar mechanism provides that swinging motion that's needed for a door closer. The ground link um, would serve as the header frame, the crane would serve as the door, the coupler would be the door closer arm, and the follower would be the connected link to the frame. Now, the classification based off the Bradshaw's criteria of this um, four bar mechanism is a crank rocker. Now, Frank will continue on and discuss the crank slider mechanism. For the crank slider mechanism, we had to synthesize the, slank crank, the, the slider crank with the, the given positions A and B, which is a link just in space. Then we had to make arrangements to make sure that the synthesized mechanism does, cons does actually pass through these points. So what we did for the slider crank was basically use the find the crank center position using the circle, the, um, the equation to find the center of a circle with three given points. And with that equation we find the length of link two. Then we find the pole positions of every position of AB. And once you find all the pole positions, you invert the pole position, the second pole position, P23, over a line that connects between the first pole position and the third pole position. Then you find the circle that in, uh, envelops those three points. That circle is called the circle of slides, which then we can use the circle of slides running MATLAB through one corner of the circle of slides to the other corner of the circle of slides to find all the possibilities of the link three length as well as the, the angle of theta one through the fixture. Then, as you see here, the, the optimization of the slider crank was done when we saw that the slider crank through SOLIDWORKS, that, the, that it did not pass through the initial points AB, as shown as the above animation. Then the below animation shows that we moved point B3 up one inch, and then finally, the slider crank does pass through the, 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 the points that were given to us. And now for the application of the slider crank mechanism by Finley. Now, um, the application of slider crank mechanism is, um, in general, the slider crank mechanism is uh, another version of the four, link, four bar linkage configuration. It transmits rotational motion into linear displacement or in reverse. A range of applications include um, engines, pumps, um, mills, and 
there's much applications that where you, you need to transport a, a lot of power from linear to rotational movement um, can be conducted with this type of mechanism. Next slide. Um, now that slide, the slide crank mechanism that we synthesize found the best application suited for um, the drivetrain of a locomotive. Um, in the application, the power in, in, in this machine is transmitted to the slider, and um, which is connected to a connector rod or main rod in the locomotive, and then it provides motion to the eccentric crank, which rotates and power drives the wheel. And that's the best mechanism that we found application for the mechanism that we synthesize. Chris will continue on with the conclusion. Um, to conclude, we used MATLAB to synthesize a four-bar mechanism and a slider crank mechanism. We learned through the uses of SOLIDWORKS and MATLAB, we were able to visualize, visually see how the actual movements relate to actual mechanisms. Um, an, an advantage for a four-bar mechanism is that it is, has precise range of motion. For the for the application that was previously described earlier, a crank rocker is essentially the ideal for this application due to its range of motion. As previously discussed, a slider crank and a crank rocker has many functions in a real-world real situations. Um, thank you.